Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share some manifestation success stories. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some of your success stories. So I picked a few of them. I personally love listening to manifestation stories. Let me know in the comments down below if you want more of these. And before I get started, if you were new here, welcome to the channel. This is a place where you can come to be completely delusional about your biggest goals and dreams and desires and where we manifest our highest reality okay so the first one i wanted to share so obviously these are all going to be anonymous when i started to get into manifestation i wanted to test the law with smaller things and then i was in the car asking my angel slash 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 Spirit guys for a shopping cart chip like a trolley token because I didn't want to buy one or put cash into it. When I arrived at the supermarket there was actually a token stuck in the trolley which I couldn't use because it was broken but to me that was a very humorous way of God telling me that my little manifestation is on the way. That is so true. The next day at work a co-worker and I cleaned the shelves and something fell off the shelf and she said, can you pick this up please so I can get this done? And there was a little token lying on the floor. I still have it and I still use it to this day. That is so funny. And then she went on to say, but ever since then I found out that I manifest more easily when I create a specific playlist and sing along to it. I finished my bachelor's degree last summer and that was a very uncertain time for me. I literally applied to so many spots, internships, master's programs, etc. There was one master's program I felt drawn towards the most, but the possibilities of getting in were very slim, as they accept only five students per year. The application process was also very strict, but I got in and I believe it's because I kept singing along to Ariana's successful and just like magic. It's an international program, so I have to study abroad at two different universities. I received every scholarship I applied for, and I also got into a very high-ranking university in London who accepts two people per semester, and I'm still shocked at all of this. These things happened as soon as I got into a magical energy with music before writing applications or before interviews. That's so amazing. I always say, the energy in which you do the thing determines the outcome of the thing. That's why like when you spend money on something or you invest in yourself, don't pay from an energy of lack. Pay from an energy of like, this is going to benefit me. This is going to bring back so much more. This is going to have an infinite ROI. And just by being in that grateful energy, like you're just completely shifting things. I'm so grateful and it still doesn't feel real to me because manifesting used to be a struggle but lately I feel like everything is falling into place. Okay, next one. What led me to manifestation and law of attraction as a lifestyle? I was in a career that didn't appreciate the work I put in. I was married to someone who had fallen into a drug addiction and became abusive. I had a car that was constantly breaking. And I was experiencing so many health problems due to my anxiety and my endometriosis. On my 30th birthday, I was alone at home, sobbing and exhausted. I had been just researching Neville Goddard, Alan Watts, and Abraham Hicks lightly, but I recalled using visualization methods. So in that moment, that's what I did on my bathroom floor. I sat and meditated. I tried to see myself at a new job feel myself driving a new safer car, hearing laughter around my friends and feeling love. I did this visual visualization nonstop for a few weeks and paired it with scripting, self-love affirmations every morning and constantly shifting the me oh that's so good. Constantly shifting the media I took in and created a Pinterest board of what I wanted my life to be. Fast forward to eight months later, I am now the director at a new job with coworkers who constantly communicate and show appreciation. I drive a newer car with payment I can afford and features I had only imagined. I am divorced and quietly dating someone whose values align with mine and who treats me like a queen. I love that. I live with my friends and have regular girls nights with lots of laughs. 
and I haven't had an, oh my gosh, I haven't had an endometriosis flare up in seven months and my health has gotten a lot better. This makes me emotional to be honest. Honestly, without this mindset shift, I would have been in the same spot as I was before. I feel so blessed for learning about manifestation and the law of assumption. This is amazing. And like I always say, like just being so careful what you take in from the media is so, so important because what you consume is not just food, food foods, it's not just food, but it's also like the media and the shows that you watch and things that you just consume with your eyes. Um, here's one of, out of my many law of assumption stories. I'm a figure skater and for a long time I have been needing new skates because mine were very old and were not helping me progress, but they are truly but they are truly expensive where I live, so I never even thought about buying them. It was just a dream until I decided that I was going to get them somehow. I did not know how, but I was going to get them. I love that. I began to imagine myself working out with my new Italian skates and felt very happy when I did that. For a moment, I even forgot that what I was imagining was not real life. A week later, I was chatting with a friend I've known for many years about random things and out of nowhere, he asked me if I had good skates. I told him that I needed to change them but that they were expensive. He asked me how expensive. I told him, I told him and he said, tell me your bank account and your routing number and I was like, what? What for? And he repeated, tell me your account and your routing number. I gave it to him thinking maybe he wants to help me out with a little bit of money to buy them and I'll give it back later. Then he said, check your account. He sent me the exact amount I needed to buy them as a gift. This was almost a year ago. I'm still very grateful for that till this day and I've become a better skater because of that. This is so amazing. Okay, so another one is, I have mentioned my manifestation story on your Limitless membership but I will share it on here too. I manifested through scripting from your December manifestation ceremony. Through scripting, I was able to land an amazing job the very next day. That's what I also always say, like things can shift literally in a matter of like hours. I even have been able to have time off to prepare mentally for my new job, which will be a bump in my, a bump up in my career. I will be working for a prestigious hospital in my area and I'm so excited for this new chapter in my life. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so another one was, um, cause I know you guys are going to ask, I'll link the exact video down below. It's about manifesting a specific person in less than 24 hours. So she says, I watched this and did the manifestation exercise, the one that I shared in the video two days ago at night and just yesterday so a day later i had my crush reply to a text that i sent after a couple of days of not hearing from him we actually set up a meeting after months of not seeing each other i usually don't share my experiences in manifesting videos mostly because i either forget or because i actually have nothing to share but this one either was perfect timing or it actually was incredibly powerful or both who knows Thank you for this video. So this is literally how fast things can shift for you. And another one is from my Limitless membership. I wanted to share a manifestation success story with you all. I did one of the manifestation meditations and visualized receiving $5,000 by the end of that month. Within 10 days, I booked one of my biggest clients to date and ended up receiving over $5,000 dollars by the end of the month. The best part is that random money and more work has kept coming in ever since. I'm honestly blown away by how much life my life has improved since joining this community. I've been feeling so much better overall because I finally invested in myself for once. Thank you, Lisa. You are so welcome. I don't want this video to be too long, but I wanted to share one story that I find. This is not from, so these were all stories from you guys, but this is a story that I read in Neville Goddard's book, but this book is actually like all his books in one. So that's why it's like literally, it's like a Bible, this thing. It's so heavy. I actually don't recommend getting this exact one because it's very like, it's hard to read. It's like very heavy. So I wanted to share this one because I feel like a lot of people are struggling with health. Um, 
So she says, and mind you, this was like in the 40s or 50s, okay? For 39 years, I had suffered from a weak back. The pain would increase and decrease, but would never leave completely. The condition had progressed to the point where I used medical treatment almost constantly. One night, I heard you speak of revision and wondered to myself if a condition of almost 40 years could be revised. Yes, it can. I have remembered that at the age of three or four years, I have fallen backward from a very high swing and have been quite ill at that time because of a serious hip injury. From that time on, I had never been completely free from pain and had pain many a dollar to alleviate the condition to no avail. This year, during the month of August, the pain had become more intense and one night I decided to test myself and, attempt to, and attempted to revise that ancient accident which had been the cause of so much distress in pain and costly medical fees most of my adult life. Many nights passed before I could feel myself back to the age of childhood play, but I succeeded. One night I actually felt myself on that swing feeling the rush of wind as the swing rose higher and higher. As the swing slowed down I jumped forward landing solidly and easily on my feet. In the imaginal action I ran to my mother and insisted that she come watch what I could do. I did it again jumping down from the swing and landing safely on my two feet. I repeated this imaginal act over and over until I fell asleep in the doing of it. Within two days. <laughs> The pain in my back and hip began to recede and within two months pain no longer and within two months pain no longer existed for me. A condition that had plagued me for more than 39 years that had cost a small fortune and attempted cure was no more. Can we just take that in for a minute? Let's do one more. This one is really good. A year ago, I took my children to Europe, leaving my furnished apartment in the care of my maid. When we returned a few months later to the United States, I found my maid and all my furniture gone. The apartment, superintend in the apartment superintendent stated that the maid had had my furniture moved by my request. There was nothing I could do at the moment, so I took my children and moved into a hotel. I, of course, reported the incident to the police and also brought in private detectives on the case. Both organizations investigated every moving company and every storage warehouse in New York City, but to no avail. There seemed to be absolutely no trace of my furniture, nor of my maid. Having exhausted all outside sources, I remembered your teaching and decided I would try using my imagination in this matter. So while seated in my hotel room, I closed my eyes and imagined myself in my own apartment, sitting in my favorite chair and surrounded by all of my personal furnishings. I looked across the living room at the piano on which I kept pictures of my children. I would continue to stare at my piano until the entire room became vividly real to me. I could see my children's pictures and actually feel the upholstery of the chair in which, in my imagination, I sat. The next day, as I came out of my bank, I turned to walk in the direction of my vacant apartment instead of toward my hotel. When I reached the corner, I discovered my mistake, quote unquote, and was just about to turn back when my attention was drawn to a very familiar pair of ankles. Yes, the ankles belonged to my maid. I walked up to her and took hold of her arm. She was quite frightened, but I assured her all I wanted from her was my furniture. I called a taxi and she took me to the place in which her friends had stored my, furnish my furnishings. In one day, my imagination had found with an entire big city police force and private investigators could not find in weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your manifestation success stories down below. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you in my next video.